Hey, what's up, everyone? What's up, YouTube and what's up, everyone is going to watch this video, man. My name is Best. So today I'm here to show you uh, the basics about Android. We'll be using Eclipse, man. So what you see right in front of you is the emulator. So the application is already running on the emulator. So the basics of this application, what it does is um, before you start playing, you put in your name and you choose what you want to play. It's a quiz game. So you can play history. I just give you the, uh, the questions about history, then you get to answer and mathematics just automatically random any numbers and um, geography just gives you five questions just to test knowledge about geography how good you are so let's start with uh, history before we get to the coding I'll just like to go through the application so you guys you get to see what we'll be working on man so cool history you choose history then you can see my input is best that's my name so it's showing right there so you got the score which is zero so this is the questions here who conquered england in 1066 so you get to choose any random numbers i mean any random answers here so one of it is right so let's just choose any so oh great so it's wrong so what's basically happening here is it shows the how many times you attempted to answer these uh these questions and it shows the questions that you got five questions there and if it's right it's gonna put one there and it's gonna put the score one there so let's take another one just to prove what i'm saying uh let's just take this one um you see it's showing that uh, still wrong still wrong then it's showing okay cool oh that one is right it put one it keeps incrementing you know when you get it right and um let's prove it again ah oh, two they did um just play this game and just quickly finish there then it display your score so you can see from back there you only got three answers then you can return back then we show you hey, this thing is kind of nice man here it shows the return to quiz i'll show you how to do that then you, you got the maths game also um the maths game still loading cool uh, let's just put any answers there great uh, wrong i uh, didn't know that one just too lazy to think anyway. Um, uh, just put, just put any. Just say hundred. Just put any. Uh, yeah, it's too much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> cool. And your score is two. Um, didn't name it this button, man. I'll fix that one. Then you go back geography. Um kind of take long man sometimes because the emulator is kind of heavy to my PC so um, mm, it's the smallest nation in Africa I choose this one and I choose Nelson Mandela Bridge I choose that one then I choose this one and I choose that one then I choose uh, that one yeah got total <laughs> cool now i think it's time to look at the codings and and other stuff I'll, ju I'll just put this thing at the back there so this is my eclipse this is what i used to create that application it's an android so um basically i just like you to check the preferences first before we look at anything so these are my emulators these are my apis these ones so this is where my folder this is where i put my sdk it's in desktop desktop then i have my sdk then i locate it there then it shows this kind of stuff then you click ok then you're gonna use that one to run your emulator so that's okay so let's have a look at the layout first so this is these are my layout and i have my activity main my activity main is it's uh, when the application launches it's gonna show my activity main and th this one is just some codings and oh and the black this black background it's my it's my breakdown background that i created with photoshop then i imported it into eclipse then just link it there and there so you have your outline here it shows what you have in your relative layout so you have a you have a text view you have a text view there then you have your button and you have a submit button this one is maths and you have history button 
then you have a geography button there then you have your text there where you can just put in what you want your button to be called you know if you guys are familiar with c sharp or any programming language you know <coughs> this is just it man so you can also do these things through activity main XML through codings you know um, if you just type this that just type this is gonna create you a text view though uh, this one is for the expert, you know, for 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 guys like me. I mean, like I've been in this thing for so long now, so I know what's happening, you know. And and we have um, we have uh, geography here. <coughs> My geography. Which one is this one? Now? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So here you have your your radio group. It's empty. So when you import it, mostly. Uh, you found it there. So when you import, it's gonna give you with three radio buttons. So I'll explain to it when we get to the Java codings. So you have a uh, text view there. Uh, this one is down there. So you have three text view there in the button and the radio radio group, which is right there. And here we have um, this one is for the score, geography score, and you have your maths. It's very maths is different, and um, multi choice is very similar to that one, the geography one, and yeah, that's it with the layout, man. And let's go have a look at the Java codes, man. And you know, if you know, if you're not good with Java, just forget about Android, man. I mean, like you need the basics of Java. You gotta know what's happening with Java, what's what. So these are the classes right here, Java classes. So geography right there. These are my codes. These are my import packages. These are my libraries and um this is my string this one is the one that passes the it passes extra message to the other activity and these are my variables right there create on click and here i'm linking my java code with uh with xml code with xml components here yeah. and this one is my method generate questions initialize questions this is where i declare my questions here and you know false 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 true then i only give true to one answer then you guys when you're playing you know you don't you don't have to have two correct answers or so you know so <clears throat> that's it basically man and you have your private void on click here uh what should happen when you click the button you know so it kind of it, yeah, it shows uh they keep asking questions else you uh, generate questions no it's the same thing uh wait, wait wait oh yeah it generated questions else it shows the score yeah it shows the score that's if this this line it means that um if you reach your numbers of questions then show the score else it keeps asking questions yeah i'm getting there yeah <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. Then let's have a look at the main activity. The main activity it have um, intent, intent for calling another form. This one uh, it calls the maths form activity, and this one it calls the uh, multi choice activity, and this one it calls the geography activity. And that's it within the main form. You don't need too much, man. That's it. And this one is, is the same as geography, man. Just just different questions there. And and what else? Maths. Um, maths, 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 maths. Scoreboard. I'm not gonna explain everything, man. Just just too much, man. And this is my project, you know. This is my project. It's, I created it for my school project, you know. So I just want you guys to have a look what's happening with Android. Um, truly speaking, it's not an easy thing because it gives me a lot of errors when you're starting, and so on. And you guys, you gotta be patient if you're working with. You gotta be patient if you're working with Android, man. It's not like C Sharp or Visual Basic or other easy languages that you're working with you know and you gotta don't forget to clean your project every time you work on it man and you make sure that your emulator is running when you put something you keep you run it just make sure it's always running you know and that's it about android voila <laughs>